Welcome to Five Star Houseboat Vacations here on beautiful Table Rock Lake. I'm Dave Long, this is Captain Dwight, and this is Captain Dave. Our job is to make sure your houseboat vacation experience is something you will never forget. So we're going to train you to beach the houseboat safely and confidently. Let's start with how to find the perfect spot. When choosing a spot, find a spot that has fine gravel. A good rule of thumb is no rocks bigger than your fist. Never beach a houseboat on ledge rock or slab rock. Pick a spot out of the wind. If there is wind, make sure the wind is either behind you or coming towards you. You need to operate at a very slow speed, so you don't want a crosswind pushing you off of where you want to beach. You will need to locate two six to eight inch diameter trees, one on each side of the houseboat. Approach the spot very slowly. You can use the reverse to slow you if you need to. Once your bow makes contact with the shore, use the throttle to push the bow into the gravel. This keeps the bow secure. Have at least one person prepared to release the ropes and jump off of the boat to tie your ropes to trees. If there is a crosswind, be sure they tie that side first so your stern doesn't swing. You can counter this by keeping the motors in forward and at the same time pushing against the shore and turning the wheel so that the stern is pushing towards the wind. For instance, if the wind is coming from the right side, turn the wheel to the left. That pushes the stern to the right. When tying ropes, again, tie the windward side first. Wrap the rope around the tree twice, then tie whatever knot you are confident with. After tying the windward side, turn the wheel towards that side to put tension on the tied rope. Pull the rope as tight as possible and tie it like you did the other side. When you let off the throttle, the ropes will equalize tension. When untying ropes, start the motors and use the wheel to control the stern just as you did when tying the houseboat. Have someone untie and stow the ropes back to the boat while you control the houseboat with the motors. When everyone is back on board and everything is secured, shift to reverse and back off the shore. If you have been there a while, you may need to move the stern side to side with the wheel until it works free. Be sure to back out three to four boat lengths before going back forward. Because they steer from the stern, houseboats make a large swing and you don't want the props to hit the shoreline when you turn. If a storm comes up while you are out, keep the bow into the wind and into the waves. If you are tied up and the wind is over 25 miles an hour and pushing on one side of the boat, start the motors and turn the wheel so that the stern is pushing into the wind. This will keep you from uprooting trees and breaking a rope. Motors should be in forward at approximately 1500 RPMs. After ropes are tied and motors are turned off, you may now swim behind the boat. You should never swim behind the boat unless it is tied to shore. This concludes your training for your upcoming houseboat vacation. Thank you for going through this training with us and thank you for choosing Five Star Houseboat Vacations. We look forward to seeing you on the water soon.